connecting piece between two square vent openings in an air conditioning system is shown. If the sheet metal used weighs 0 0.906 pounds per square foot, what is the weight of the piece? Well, if this is a square vent connector in an air conditioning system, I would assume that the end piece and the end piece is not there, right? You're seeing like duct work, right? These little gray metal, sheet metal pieces that have that are open on either end, right? So what we're looking at here is the lateral surface area of this thing. And as far as the shape's concerned, this is a nine inch by nine inch square here. This end's a nine inch by nine inch square, where this end over here is only a six inch by six inch square, which tells me that this is the frustum of a cone. Or a pyramid, sorry. It kind of looks like a rectangular prism, but again, the fact that this base is converging, making a smaller base over here, they aren't the same, that makes the frustum of a pyramid, not a rectangular prism. All right, the slant height given is 28 inches, and again, uh, it's 0 0.906 pounds per square foot. Square feet represents area, not volume. So, I'm looking for the surface area just of the outside edges, which would be the lateral surface area. So again, it, you have to read the problem to make a determination of what it is they're trying to find on this thing. So they're asking me for lateral surface area. Just like the last problem, lateral surface area requires two perimeters and a slant height. So piece of one equals something, piece of two equals something, slant height equals something. Slant height is given to me 28 inches. The perimeter of the, both the top and bottom face there, the 6 inch square and the 9 inch square, are squares. So just like the last problem, I'm going to call this the upper and this the lower. It doesn't really matter which one's which, okay, but we're using P subscript 1 for upper. So uh, the upper <coughs> perimeter is going to be 4 times 6 inches, which is a total of 24 inches. The lower base is a 9 inch square, so it's going to be 4 times 9 inches, which is 36 inches. Okay. So the lateral surface area of this piece of duct work is going to be 1 half times perimeter 1, 24, plus perimeter 2, 36, times slant height, 28. Find the perimeters, find the slant height, apply the formula. Within the formula, you have that perimeter 1 and perimeter 2 being added together, so we're going to combine these together to single number 60, and then we punch in our calculator. 1 half is 0.5 times 24 plus 36, which is 60, times the slant height 28, gives me a lateral surface area of 840 square inches. <clears throat> Be cautious of units. As you can see in this picture, everything here is inches, right? So lateral surface area is going to be square inches. They're giving me a weight per square foot. I found an area in square inches. All right, so now I need to convert to square feet. And I know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. All right? 12 inches does not match 840 square inches, right? This is inches, this is square inches. So if I need this to be square inches, what we need to do is we need to square everything in that. So it's going to be feet squared, 12 squared, 1 squared. The 1 squared doesn't really do anything, so we can just throw it out. So everything is squared there. Inches squared cancels inches squared. We're converting to feet squared. 840 divided by 12 is equal to 70, I believe. It does, yeah. So that's a total of 70 square feet of space, of, of material, right? This uh, sheet metal weighs 0 0.906 pounds per square foot. 0 0.906 pounds per square foot. And notice, this is square feet, this is also square feet. So here it was only inches and feet, so I had to square everything. This one says square feet, so it's fine the way it is. Everything's as it should be. So square feet cancels square feet. 
70 times 906, those times 0.906 are both in the numerator, so we're going to be multiplying those. So 70 times 0.906 comes out to 63.42 pounds. Uh, it doesn't specify any kind of rounding, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it as that answer. So apparently, if you're going to work in H back, Imagine standing on a ladder trying to get the 63.42 pound piece in the right position. Make sure you do a little weight training. Make sure you're not that that's a lot of weight, but still, if you're trying to position it and everything, and I'm standing on top of the ladder, it might get a little bit hairy up there. So make sure you're strong. <laughs>